Hi, I'm Robbie with BDO Securities, and in this video, I'm going to go through how to find a stock to trade and how to execute a trade with the BDO Securities platform. So this video is going to have four different parts. And in the first part, I'm going to go through how to find a stock to trade using some resources provided by BDO Securities. In the second part, I'm going to show you how I calculate my entry price to my trade and my stop loss. The third thing we'll do is show you how I calculate my position sizing and figure out my risk to reward ratio. And in the fourth and final part of this video, I'm going to show you how I actually execute my trade. And now let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is figure out, is this going to be a long term kind of buy and hold type of position? Or is this going to be a short term trade? Now, it's important for me to decide this because the approach I'm going to use to find a stock is going to very highly depend on if I'm going to buy and hold the stock or if I'm going to try to enter this as a short term trade. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going over a short term trade. So I'm only going to try to find a stock that I want to hold for maybe a couple week at the most. And in order to do this, I'm going to rely on something called technical analysis. So when you're trying to find a short term trade idea with BDO securities, one of the very first things I often do is I go to something called the technically speaking commentary. Now we put out technically speaking commentary weekly on a variety of stocks and our goal is to try to find trade ideas. And when I say trade, I mean short term trading. Now recently BDO securities actually published something called a trade recap, which goes over all of the different trade ideas they've had for the entire month. And so that is exactly where I'm going to start when I try to find a new trade idea for myself. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my email and I'm going to open up the trade recap that BDO security sends out every month. So I have the trade recap open and you know, I've already read this. So I always suggest, of course, you should read this whole thing. There's tons of great information in this trade recap email that gets sent every month, but I've already read it. And I know that I want to go down to the table to, you know, make this video as short as possible. So I'm going to go down here and I just want to show you how this table can really benefit you to find trade ideas. So the very top of this table, you'll see the stock that BDO Securities is talking about. You'll see the buy price or the price that BDO Securities first thought that this stock should have been purchased. You'll see the target price of the stock, the stop level, the percent gained or percent lost since the trade idea and the trade idea update. And finally, the last update that BDO security sent out. So let's look through some of these stocks. So the first thing we have is globe and the buy price for globe is 1,990. The target price was 2,300 and the stop level is 2,636. So what I see here is first off the BDO securities really had a great gain so far since they added this to their list. And as you'll see, there's a 36% gain so far since BDO securities added the stock. But right now the stock is probably a little bit high because they're saying that you should maybe take profit on this stock. So essentially, I don't think I want to get into a stock that BDO securities thinks I should be taking profit on. So I'm actually going to head a little further down. And so here we have SCC, which they were stopped out, meaning that the trade is really not going on anymore. They sold the position. So I don't want that. Now I see one that's pure gold, P G O L D pure gold. And I see a hold. Now this is where I'm actually going to start because a hold means that BDO securities thinks that there is potential for this stock to continue to maybe go higher. So let's see what we have. We have pure gold with a 38.06 buy price. We have a target price of 54 pesos. We have a stop level of 41 pesos and we have a percent gain of 14%. Now this is a very good update because it actually covers a lot of information I really want to know. And then what's really good is to look at what the last updated date was. Now when I'm recording this, this is actually about a week old. So what I really want to do now is I want to go in and I want to see what the stock is trading at. And I want to take a quick look at some technicals and what's going on in the charts. Okay, so now I've logged into BDO Securities and I'm going to go ahead and click trade. Now that I'm in the trading portal, I'm going to go ahead and check out some charts real quick. So I'm going to go to analysis and I'm going to click charts. So I have the charting tool open and I'm going to go ahead and add my ticker symbol 
PGOLD for pure gold. So what I want to do now is I want to look at BDO Securities suggestions for their target price and for their stop loss. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some support and resistance levels in those areas. So now I've added a line for the potential target that BDO Securities has of 54 pesos. This is going to be the actual resistance line, which is up here. And then I have the stop loss here at 41 pesos. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna see if this stock is trading above or below what BDO Securities is suggesting. And I see that it is currently trading above the 41 peso stop loss. And so it's trading around 42.85 right now. Now I've also added a channel here and it does seem to be trading within an uptrend channel. So I like that. So essentially what I see so far, I like about pure gold. And the next thing I really wanna do quickly is take a look at the indicators and I wanna see what the RSI is telling me. So I'm gonna click add indicator here and I'm gonna go down to relative strength index or RSI. Now the RSI is a bit high and it's close to the overbought levels, but it is slightly gone down, down to about 68. Now I'm gonna just look at this and kind of watch this RSI indicator, but generally speaking, I like what I see here for pure gold. Okay, so the first part of this is done. We found our stock. Now, the next thing we need to do is kind of the easy part because using the BDO Securities trade recap, we can actually go ahead and figure out their target price and their stop loss, and I'm actually gonna just use that. So for our second part, this is a very easy part. So all I'm gonna do is for the pricing, I'm gonna use pure gold, the target price, which BDO Securities has told us that they have at 54 pesos. The current price of pure gold is actually 42.85, and this is gonna be an, a 26% gain if it hits these levels. And I really think that's a great gain, and of course, I'm sure you do too. So I'm very happy with that. So as long as I'm happy with the gain, now I just wanna check the stop loss. And so essentially, a 41 peso stop loss would lead to a 4.3% loss. And so then you have to ask yourself, are you okay taking the risk of potentially gaining 26% or potentially losing 4.3%? And that's gonna be up to you and your risk tolerance. For me, I'm happy. And to continue with the idea of how much you could potentially earn and potentially lose, well, we wanna take a look at the risk to reward ratio. And it's a very important part of the risk measures that come with trading. And so when with BDO Securities, we actually prefer to have a one to three risk to reward ratio. And so does this trade potentially meet our requirements? So it's about a one to six for pure gold. So it's actually gonna meet our requirements. Okay, so the risk to reward ratio will work out. And the next thing I need to do is I'm gonna figure out my position sizing for this trade. So in order to figure out my position sizing, I need to know how big my portfolio is. So I'm gonna show you how you can easily figure that out. So when you go back to your trading portal, you can go up here and hit buying power summary. And this is gonna be how much cash you have available to make a trade right now. So I have 37,467 pesos. But then I need to see how much I have in equity because I need to see my entire portfolio. So I'll also go over to the equity holding and I have 60,344 pesos. So essentially I have almost 100,000 pesos and that's actually the number I'm gonna use in this video because honestly I just wanna use round numbers to make it easy for you. So in order to figure out some of the portfolio sizing that we're gonna use, now I'm gonna use 100,000 pesos as my portfolio size, but I need to figure out my portfolio allocation maximum. And this is the total amount of money that I want in any one single trade. And for me, I don't like to have this over around 20%. So what does that mean? Well, I don't want a trade that's gonna be more than 20,000 pesos. The other thing I need to figure out is what my risk per trade is gonna be. And now the risk per trade is the risk of my entire portfolio that I wanna take in one single trade. And so for me, I'm gonna use a 1% risk per trade. So to figure out my position sizing for this trade, I'm gonna use all the information that I just said. So we have a little formula that we can use. So to find the position sizing or the number of shares that you're going to purchase, you can use the portfolio balance, multiply it by the maximum risk per trade, and then divide that by the stock price minus the stop loss. So essentially what I just went over would be this, 100,000 pesos times 1% 
and then divide that by the stock price minus the stop loss. And what we end up getting is a position sizing of 540 shares. And so that is the amount of shares that I'm gonna end up buying of Pure Gold. As we know, it's trading at about 42 pesos and 85 cents. So the total of that is gonna be about 23,162 pesos all in. So we've figured out everything we need so far, except we need to now go execute the trade. So let's go back to our trading portal. Okay, so now I am back in the trading portal. Simply gonna go click trade. I got my order entry screen open. Now, two important things. The first thing I wanna do, I wanna make sure I have enough buying power. Can I make the purchase? Do I have enough money in cash to make this purchase? I do, I have 37,000-ish pesos. Now I wanna go ahead and see what the stock is trading at. PGOLD for pure gold. Here we go. On the right side here, I'm gonna look at the ask price and it looks like it's down a little bit. So 42.8000 is what it's trading at. Down from about 42.85, so okay. So far so good. Now here's a couple important things I wanna note. So I said that I wanted to have 540 as my quantity before, but here's a bit of a problem. So number one, I told you that I want to have my maximum portfolio allocation at 20%. I don't want any more than 20% of my portfolio in one stock. And as you can see here, I'm going to have a purchase of 23,112, which is more than my 20%. So what might I do here? Well, two things. One, because I want to stay within the normal lot here, I'm gonna actually bring this down to 500, so I make it a nice even lot when I purchase this stock. Also, that allows me to bring down my order value to about 21,400, slightly over that portfolio allocation maximum that I wanted to have, but not too bad over. So I think I'm okay with this. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to hit execute, or buy rather, and that's it. So I've executed my trade and now it is done. Of course, remember, I have a stop loss. I have a stop loss of 41 pesos. I need to make sure that I do not dip below that. So I need to monitor my position. And if I do dip below 41 pesos, I need to go ahead and sell my position and close it out. Hopefully it's not gonna hit that and I will go up to my target price of 54 pesos, but we'll see what happens. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope this video helped. And of course, good luck trading this week.